Hello family, good afternoon folks. This is Glenn again with the Word for Today Part 4. The Word for Today Part 4 for November 13th, 2019. It's 1658 hours in military time. That is 4.58 p.m. on November 14th, 2019. So this is the Word for Today Part 4 for November 13th, 2019. Let's get right into the Word. So at 6.39 p.m. on November 13th, that's yesterday evening, Pleasing your husbands. That's where the Lord came to me recently. So let's go right into the Word and discuss these Bible verses. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 3 through 5. Proverbs 31, 12. Ephesians 5 and 24. Proverbs 14, 1. 1 Timothy 2, 12. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 11. 3 John 1 and 4, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22, Proverbs chapter 12 verse 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 32 through 35, Colossians chapter 3 verse 5, the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 28 through 29, and finally Proverbs 31 30. Let's go right into the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 3 through 5. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 3 through 5. Let the husband render to his wife the affection due her, and likewise also the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Do not deprive one another except of consent for a time, that you may give yourself to fasting and prayer, and come together again so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 12. Proverbs 31 and 12. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 24. Ephesians 5 and 24. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Proverbs 14 and 1. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1. The wise woman builds her house. But the foolish pulls it down with her hands. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 12. The book of 1 Timothy 2 and 12. And I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man, but to be in silence. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage is honorable among all, and the bed undefiled. The fornicators and adulterers God will judge. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 11. Proverbs 31 11. The heart of her husband safely trusts her. So he will have no lack of gain. 3 John 1 and 4. The book of 3 John chapter 1 verse 4. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22. Ephesians 5 and 22. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 4. Proverbs 12 and 4. An excellent wife is the crown of her husband, but she who causes shame is like rottenness in his bones. The, the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 32 through 35. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 32 through 35 but I warn you but I want I'm sorry but I want you to be without care he who, he who unmarries cares for the things of the Lord how he may please the Lord but he who marries cares about the things of the world how he may please his wife there is a difference between a wife and a virgin the unmarried woman cares about the things of the Lord that she may be holy both in body and spirit but she who is married cares about the things of the world how she may please her husband this I say for your own profit that I may not put a leash on you before it's proper, and that you may serve the Lord without distraction. Colossians 3 and 5. Okay, folks, uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. The book of Ephesians chapter 5, verses 28 and 29. The book of Ephesians, chapter 28 and 29. Okay, the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, 
verses 28 and 29. There we go. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. For he who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. And finally, the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 30. Proverbs 31 and 30. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Amen. Okay, folks and family, that's part four for the word for today. Part four, November 13th, 2019. This is part four for the word for today, November 13th, 2019. Everyone have a great day. God bless you all. Thank you for your time for these past six minutes. God bless you all and all you do. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Very soon. This is your decision day. Your day of decision. This is your day of salvation. Get saved. Get to Jesus as quick as you can. I love you all very much. Take care of yourselves. Have a blessed week and I'll talk to you later. Part 5 is up next. Part 5, the last part of our series, will be up shortly. Thank you for your time and have a great day. I love you. Bye-bye now.